Okay guys, so um, just second delivery of um, a shiny new uh, Samsung Chromebook. Um, it just literally just arrived and it is, first impressions, it is an incredibly small package. Um, so it's only very thin and light. Um, the spec for this product is um, the Intel Atom um, uh, N570 processor um, with a 12.1 inch X, uh, WXGA screen. Um, it's only got 2 gigs of memory, um, but it's uh, got a 16 gig uh, SSD hard drive, um, which hopefully will make it quite quick. Um, we're just moving the business, um, our mail servers and the document storage all into Google Apps for Business. Um, so we thought this would be an interesting exercise to uh, get a Chromebook in and see um, how we can perform without having Office on your desktop and all your files stored on your desktop. So that's going to be quite an interesting journey, but this is kind of the first impressions having got one out of the box, or just about to get one out of the box. Now there's um, two different designs, I think, which is kind of the case cover. So then this is a Titan Silver and it comes in a white, uh, and there is a Wi-Fi and a 3G version. Um, we've just gone for the Wi-Fi version, because um, I figure you can always tether it uh, when you're remote anyway. So let's get the box open and have a look and then what we'll do um, is um, after we upload this video I'll try and do an update based on uh, how we are actually using the product. So the marketing strap for this says uh, um, nothing but the web so um, I guess in terms of uh, having cloud based services running um, we should be absolutely fine with the product um, it's really easy to manage there's no local security issues I think different users can log in um, so it's uh, it's quite exciting I think and a lot of people are looking at this across the business to see you know whether it's possible to move the standard office users to a product like this um, and obviously what implications that has then for people at home that really just want to get on uh, get on the web especially if you're using Gmail um, so Open the box, we've got um, a VGA adapter, um, which is all nicely wrapped, um, and obviously the obligatory power. Um, I've come to a nice clean desk with um, a LAN cable, so what we'll do is we'll get this um, fired up uh, out of the box and we'll get it turned on and just see, see what happens when we boot it up. Um, so the product itself is really small. Um, I was expecting something a little bit um, chunkier and heavier, to be honest, when I looked at the specification, but uh, it comes through and it's really, really um, slim as a product um, and really light. So, um, wow, it's got kind of a, uh, a sheet on the top, um, which we will remove, uh, which is obviously there for transit. Um, nice little Google advertising on the front. Um, and there it is. So, um, being a, um, a Samsung netbook user, um, I think this looks like it's got a more traditional laptop keyboard uh, with a riser keyboard. Um, it's not kind of um, built in. Uh, it's a full size um, QWERTY, not a reduced size QWERTY. Uh, I think that's um, what comes standard on the Samsung product, but not on the um, Acer product, I think there's two of these at the moment. Um, it says it's a super bright, super bright screen uh, with fast start. Um, I believe this turns on and gets you on the internet within eight seconds, uh, which is quite neat. Um, ports on this side um, is USB and then the little VGA adapter uh, with power and speakers. Um, and there is your USB adapter, and I guess what I'm looking for is where the LAN cable goes, so let's find that out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, uh, some nice first impressions, it looks really nice, um, get it booted up and see how it operates um, uh, with Google Apps. Okay, so having consulted the uh, uh, user manual, which is um, something I tend to not try and do very often and having my um, wireless LAN cable um, there isn't a LAN port in the Chromebook um, so it's Wi-Fi only um, so I guess the Wi-Fi model means Wi-Fi only and not LAN 2 um, there is a little um, 3G uh, SIM slot on the right hand side here so if we had it gone for the um, 
uh, 3G option and not just the Wi-Fi, which is, I think is about £30 extra, and then you slot the SIM in there. Um, there's also a nice little SD card slot on the front for additional memory. Um, and this is our getting started. So I guess this is where this is going to tell me to go in and put in my password and settings. So if you bear with me, I'll set up and then wireless and then start again. Okay, so I've literally just put the wireless key in. Uh, it's taken me um, a couple of seconds. Um, and it looks like it's now looking for updates. So as this is brand new out of the box, I'd imagine there's quite a few things that it needs to download. Um, I don't think there's a lot of data installed locally. Um, so I'd imagine... Um, it's probably just the OS, which is the browser, so I'm quite intrigued to see how it's going to work and how long it's going to take to um, set up my Google uh, account on the machine once it's on the net. Okay, so Google's updated. Um, it's just downloaded and updates the operating system, which I guess is pretty standard considering this is new and out of the box. Uh, it just asks for my Google account details. Um, it's now saying choose a picture to display on the account. Um, I think I'll uh, go for mine in Thai for now. Um, and there we are, straight in the browser. So, um, I mean, it says um, that uh, the operating system is effectively the browser. Um, let me remove this off the screen. This is now setting up my... Uh, standard apps that I've got running, so uh, Shareaholic and uh, those kind of things. Um, oh, it's taking me to the Samsung homepage. Um, fantastic. So I can learn more about Samsung. Um, and then it's doing me, I guess, a mini tutorial. Oh, that's interesting. The actual touchpad is touch itself. That's quite nice. So is it two fingers right click, uh, two fingers scroll, Nice, and then uh, uh, drag and drop. So what does that mean? Hey, there we go. So I am now in, and I can visit the store. Fantastic. Um, so I guess now the question is, how do I get to uh, things like my email? So I guess from home. How do I get to home? Hmm. <laughs> so. Okay. So. Get to my settings. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So then it goes through, I guess, my own personal settings. This is very much the same as just Google Chrome in the browser. Um, Get rid of these things. Don't want to talk about Aperture or Shareaholic or screen capture now or into the web store. So um, this is me. Okay, so what happens when I open a new clean browser? Then? So that takes me in. Okay, so I've got Talk, I've got um, Google Docs, which is great. I've got my Gmail account. Now we have it, so um, nothing but the web. There we go. So um, what I'm interested in doing is just knowing about the um, startup and the shutdown speed. So if I close down on my browsers, it brings me back to my landing page um, where I have all my apps. Um, so I've synchronized my apps and my um, browser settings, but there are some new things here like um, Scratchpad, that's new, File Manager's new, um, Entanglement's new, so they're things that I didn't have on my um, PC browser. So um, this is obviously my storage, so storage through a browser, it's quite interesting. Um, um, and what does Scratchpad do? So I guess Scratchpad is a notepad application. So I think on the whole it's going to take a little bit of a while to get used to. Um, I do want to try just turning the thing off. Oh, there we go. Hold it down, shut down, there we go. Um, so that's it now turned off. Now uh, let's see how long it takes me to get up and running. 
and on the web. So uh, Chrome logo. I'm in. Oh, that's my password. That's handy. Give me a second. Just point you away so you can't see. There we go. And then we're in. So that was pretty quick. Um, that was about five seconds, including my time to type my password. So um, there you have it, folks. Um, not to Facebook in five seconds. So um, I'm going to have a play about it with it now, and I will uh, come back, and um, if I feel I need to do a bit of an update, uh, I will uh, let you guys know.